Hi, in this video, we will learn how to find the area between the graph of two continuous functions. Well, recall that before we had the idea of finding the area under the graph of a function on the interval a, b. What we meant by that is that the region between the graph and the x-axis and then we found the area of that by an integral remember that was integral of a b f of x dx but when we were trying to um, find a formula for this what we used was approximating rectangles of this this area Basically, what we did, we chopped this uh, region into small uh, rectangles with width delta x and height of f at some xi star. And then we added all these things, i, n of them, and then f of xi star delta x, yes? Well, later on, we learned that this will be given by an integral, which was this one, and then we used that integral to evaluate these, these uh, areas. But now we are interested in the area between the graph of two functions. So we have function, let's say, f, and we have a function g, and again, we are uh, between or on the interval a, b between two numbers a and b. And this time we will go exactly the same way. We chop this region into small rectangles and then try to add the area of areas of those ones and find the limits. What happens, what is different in this case is that, well, again, the width is going to be delta x. So the area of each rectangle will be obtained by the height of that rectangle multiplied to delta x. But what is the height? So at a point x i star, if you look, this, the height of the uh, rectangle is not anymore f of x i star, and it's not g of xi star but what it is is the difference of the values of f and g at this point in other words the the height at i interval is f of xi star minus g of xi star and then we add these guys find the limit as n goes to infinity meaning that we make the rectangles finer and finer, and then find that one. But if you look at this formula, knowing that Riemann sum of f minus g will be something like this, tells me that, okay, that limit and sum can be evaluated by this integral. Well, that's the formula we have. So let me just write everything in details. Uh, so let f and g be two continuous functions on the interval a, b. And we know that f is always above g. So f x is greater than g x for all x in the interval a b yes then the area of the region between these two guys between the graph or the curves defined by these guys, graph of f and g on the interval a, b. Well, this 
is given by this integral as we found out is a integral from a to b of upper function the, the function which is greater so fx minus lower function dx so you find f minus g the upper one minus lower one let me write this way so that you see what i mean so the upper function minus lower function well this guarantees then the integral we are finding is going to be positive number not a negative area needs always to be positive okay well let's do one example in this case and then we'll move on to other types of examples okay so we have two functions or two curves y equals to 1 over x squared and y equals to 1 over x we are trying to find the area of the region between these two on the interval 1 to e very nice so first of all you need to have a sketch of the graph of these guys both of them so 1 over x is well we are only interested in the in the positive side yes so 1 over x is going to be something like this if this is 1 then this will be something like e and while well, 1 over x squared see 1 over x and 1 over x squared when x is equal to 1 are the same thing but 1 over x squared, when you have number bigger than x is a number bigger than 1, it's going to be smaller. So it will go, it will go closer to 1. And after that, we'll go higher. Okay? So the region we are trying to find its area is this. And as you see, oh well, the upper function is 1 over x, the lower function is 1 over x squared. So the area is going to be equal 1 to e of 1 over x minus 1 over x squared dx. Very nice. Now we have to uh, find an antiderivative of 1 over x, which is ln x. And antiderivative of 1 over x squared is negative 1 over x then go from 1 to e so this will be ln of e plus 1 over e minus ln of 1 plus 1 over 1 and this gives us ln of e is 1 so 1 plus 1 over e minus ln of uh, 1 is 0 minus 1 over 1 is 1. So these two cancel. The area is going to be 1 over e. So in the case of continuous functions, the area between these two on the interval a, b is given by integral of the upper function minus lower function on that interval.